Hello. Now let's see how to do combined operations with radicals. Here we have a problem. So it is 15 times radical 24 divided by 3 times radical 2 take away 7 times radical 3. Now a lot of operations in radicals are very similar to normal operations, right? The only thing is that you cannot mix radical and outside things like normal. Here we can divide 15 by 3 and we can divide within radicals 24 by 2. So that is okay. Now let's do that. So, so first let's simplify this. So once we simplify 15 over 3 is 5, correct? 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we get 5. Now here in the radical we can divide 24 by 2. If we divide 24 by 2 we get radical 12. So that's how you can simplify this division. Now here we have 7 radical 3. Now this is equal to that. Now you cannot do 5 minus 7 and radical 12 minus radical 3. Many students do that kind of a mistake. You can only combine these two when you have like radicals. Now fortunately for us we can break down square root 12 or radical 12 as it has a factor which is a perfect square. So let's do that. So we get 5 and 12 can be written as 4 times 3 where 4 is a perfect square of 2, right? Now, since 4 is a square of 2, we can bring it out of the radical. So we can write this as 5 times 2 square root 3 take away 7 square root 3. I'm using the term square root and radical. Square root is the simplest form of radical. Now 5 times 2 is 10, we get 10 radical 3 minus 7 radical 3. By doing this, we have got same radicals. Do you see that? Like radicals. Now we can do 10 minus 7 and we get 3 radical 3. So this is how you can do combined radical operations. Okay? So remember that we cannot mix and match. So you can divide radical by radical. For example, if you have radical 15 over radical 3, then it is something like this. It's like 15 divided by 3, which could be radical 5. Is it okay? That is permitted. So that is what we used here. Second, whenever you take away or add or subtract radicals, we should have like radicals. Only when you have like radicals, you can take away or add things as we have shown here. I hope you understand the basic operations of radical and how to combine them. So in this, we have done some multiplication, division and subtraction. Okay, great. Thank you.